men's women's doubles match. We finished the session with a men's doubles, and uh, it's a Denmark-Indonesia affair here. Astrup and Rasmussen against the number two seeds and number two pair in the world currently, Mohamed Arsen and Hendra Setiawan. Let's have a look how the men's doubles draw is shaping up. We saw Gideon and Sukumulcho come through in straight games against the Indians, Ranky Reddy and Shetty earlier. So they play the winner of the match that's currently on court two. And uh, they're a game up in that match, Hoki and Kobayashi. And we're going to concentrate now on that uh, bottom quarter final. Astrup and Rasmussen against Arsan and Setiawan. Players and officials on their way to court number one. This is the Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships 2022. And a great reception for the technical officials and players for our last match in this session, heading on to court number one. It's the men's doubles quarter-final. And let's hear it for the athletes, the number seven seeds from Denmark, Kim Astrup and Anders Skarup Rasmussen. And the number two seeds from Indonesia, Mohamed oh. Assan and Hendra Setiawa. Well, the previous meeting stats don't make uh, good reading here for the Kim, for the Danes. Uh, They've lost black. all five. Red called. You choose. But the Kim question served. is, this side. Arsene and Arsene Setia Arsene. won, 34 and 37 years old respectively. Powers potentially waning. They're still top-class players. Of course they are. But maybe this could be the moment, uh, Morton, for the, the Danes to finally chalk up a victory against these two. I think so. It's a good opportunity uh, for the Danes, and uh, it's very important for the Danes that uh, Kim Astrup, the left-hander, can keep calm and cool under pressure. Well, there is Astrup, who's uh, 30 now. Of course, he helped uh, Denmark win the Thomas Cup back in 2016. They were the European champions in men's doubles a couple of years later, these two. 12 titles as a pair. And actually, this is their first meeting, these two pairs, for more than three years. And three of the last four have gone to three games. So even though they've yet to win one, they've come relatively close. Rasmussen is three years his partner's senior. They have won a couple of Super 300 events in Spain and Switzerland, and also a Super 1000 at the China Open a few years ago as well. So clearly have the talent. And that's how they have progressed up to now. They had a bit of a struggle in the first round, came through in three games, but a very easy victory against Matsui and partly yesterday. Thirty-four, Mohamed Hassan. Of course, three-time world champions this pair in 13, 15 and 19. Won this event in 2019 as well. But as Morton and I were saying, when we watched them play earlier in the uh, event here, that their last title together was the World Tour Finals in 2019. Ready to play? The Danish pair did really well in the German Open. They actually beat the world champions, Hoki and Kobayashi, in, in three games. But they lost the semi-final. So the Chinese pair, Liu Yuchen and Ao Xuan Yi, in two straight games, 21-18, 21-17 in that semi-final. I think they were quite disappointed with that. The Danish pair 
had their debut here in the All England in 2014 when they got to the second round. Well, for many years, they only got first or second round here at the All England, but last year in 2021, they got to the semi final. Mohamed Azan and him, you said, Johan. Ladies and gentlemen, very well covered already. On my right, such a fantastic Kim pair. And Anna's Scarab Rasmussen. Fantastic Denmark. record. Well, certainly the crowd in and here. On my left, Hendra Sotayawan and Mohamed Asan, Indonesia. This morning, can't say they haven't had value for money. That's some terrific badminton. And uh, this might be a fitting Kim swan song Astrid to our first session. For Mohamed Asan, love all. Play. <laughs> Service over. One love. Hey. Service over. One all. So Astra with a new weapon. And this is where our son and Setiawan are so good. Controlling the front of the court. Very decisive Three, at one. the front. Here we see our son. He's taking no prisoners. So tactically astute, these two. So much experience. to the Danes to get a good start and uh, it doesn't look like it. Uh, Hassan and Seti are really cruising. Well, he's enjoyed himself. <laughs> Definitely. He's had a good uh, session, actually, because we saw Gideon and Sukumudra come through earlier. Yeah, Indonesia is obviously having... Uh, a big range Six, of really, one. really good men's doubles pairs. And um, the pair against uh, Hoki and Kobayashi on the other court, the adjacent court at the moment. 16-12 uh, up in the second game against uh, the world champions. And that's uh, Fikri and Maulana. Well, obviously, at the moment, we're, we're seeded. If it goes with two, the seedings, six. we'll have an all-Indonesian final. These two will play with Gideon and Sukumulcho. Yes. But a lot to happen before that is confirmed. Definitely a tactic from uh, the Danes to put out uh, Four, six. Hendra Setiawan or put him under pressure in the service situation and thereby put it, get him away from the net. So that's why I think they want to flick him quite a lot. And we saw a fine example of it just before.
excellent again from Seti Wan. Service over. 7 4. Server, 5-7. And look at that. It's so decisive, isn't it? Service over. As again, I have to say, take no prisoners. Five. This time it was a set of run from the front of the court. And it's just whacking it on the floor. No chance for the Danes to get it back. But the Danes are far too passive, giving away initiative too easily. And, uh, of course, that's just complete... Nine, five. ...food for the two Indonesians. They love it. They just completely control. Yeah, he just won in the same way. You said earlier with Ranky Reddy and Shetty against Gideon and Sukumulja, where there may be the, the Danes, based on the past record, have got a bit too much respect for their opponents here, who now move to a five-point lead. Five. Especially when, you know, in five previous attempts, they've lost a lot. Well, that was pretty convincing. 11-5 it is at the mid-game interval and much to ponder for Astrup and Rasmussen. And that is six minutes of play. Eleven five. Play. So coach Jakob Hoy encouraged his players to move forward and really try to start taking some control. And that's exactly what we've discussed here in the studio, if you can say that. Giving too much initiative away. Here we've got Jakob Hoy. Five. Used to be Anna's coach in Germany, later on in England and now back in, England, uh, back in Denmark. Kim? Kim, are you OK? Yeah, I just hit myself on the right. OK. 12-5. Play. Well, there's almost a, 13, an inevitability five. about this, and we're only, what, six or seven minutes in, <laughs> and midway through the first game, potentially, but... I think you said it so well, Trevor. Um, it's, it's really... Service there's order. a lot to ponder about, six, and the Danes 13. have to find another game plan here. The way they play at the moment is not going to succeed. It's all around the service situation, it's all into the flat play, it's all around the front play at the court, and the Danes are losing all of that. So they must try to make use of the backcourt a lot, lot more. Service and when I say use of the backcourt, it have to be higher lift towards six. the back of the court, making sure that when the attack from the Indonesians is coming, it's coming from way back the court and they're not feeding off the pace of uh, these flat lifts and, and all the flat exchanges as well. But 
it uh, is, for the time being, it's a complete formality. 15-6. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you. Uh, we have seen some dramatic turnarounds in the past, but at the moment, as you say, it's, uh, it's almost men against boys, really. Service over. 7 7 15. They just need a run of points where they're where they're competitive, Astrup and Rasmussen. That's a good serve. Yeah. Very good serve there from Anna Rasmussen. 8 15. And then the odd error. And you just never know. 9.15. Play. This is much more like it, making sure that the sun is standing on the back line, hitting, and suddenly the defence is getting much better. Service over, 16-9. from Astrup. Service over. 10 16. And somehow I just can't see this slip away from uh, Hassan and Setiawan in this opening game. That was in by a big margin. Yes. No doubt the drift has changed 11, from yesterday. 16. There is no doubt about it. Now the Danes having the slow end. Yesterday, that was the fast end. Yeah, and just the fact that they've been, you know, more competitive in the last few points, I'll give them a little bit of uh, self-belief for the I'm second sure. game. Yes, absolutely. Okay, what isn't done yet? 12-16. Cavernous lead has been reduced to four. Service over, 17 12. I like the way that Tassan is putting that one away. No, just nice and easy. And well, that's good by Rasmussen. Really good getting that Service one cross court. 13 17. Right in the corner. Service Junction of sideline and back line. 19. But after only 13 minutes of play, Service over. here are 20, six game points game point to the Indonesians. 14. 
It's an Situan traditional style, isn't it? Very, very short rallies. Service over. 15-20. Ultra professional, you would describe that first game from Hassan and Setiawan. First 21 game, points to 15, Mohammed it's only taken Hassan 14 minutes. It wasn't 15. really in doubt once they made such a solid start in the game, but whether Astrup and Rasmussen can be more competitive in the second game, we'll have to wait and see. But they had a few they had a few moments of their own later in the in the game, but by then they were too far behind. Yeah, they definitely worked their way into the first game and uh, they have to build upon that. And of course, it's all about having a good start here when the second game is starting. Okay. Ja. 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 Så må vi hellere lave nogle point, hvor vi går hårdt i den fra det, og så flækker de den ned, i stedet for at det ender med, at vi laver fejl på catcher. Jeg synes ikke, vi vinder fra det. Altså, øh... Vi skal bare ikke blive siddende. Well, you never know if if the Danes can get, get off to a decent One start. Love. Who knows? They're never able in that first game to put any kind of genuine pressure on their opponents. Now, as soon as they got off to that very bad start, it was just uh, it was love. just. Uh, Foregone conclusion, I would say. But it's all about getting a good start here in the second game for the Danes. Well, San and Setiawan has played so well. Service over. One, two. Hardly ever been out of balance, the two players. Been in total control. Great serve, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, struck too quick off the marks, and then of course getting caught. Perfect length again. Yes, the Three, thing is that two. the Danes, of course, now playing with the drift, it's good for their attack. However, the lift from the two Indonesians. It's so much easier to control when they're playing against the drift. Service over. Three all. Four, 
three. Maybe just a little bit casual at the net there, set you one. And that's well closed down by Astro about the net. So far, the Indonesians have been Five able to play three. shots like that unpunished, but this time not. Is for Endo okay. and now when he's got to move very fast to the front of the court. This one here, the block shot from Astrup, putting him into trouble. Well, this is just the start the Danes wanted. Four points clear now in the early stages, admittedly, of the second game. Seven, three. I thought they might have got a bit of a confidence injection from the way that they played in the second half of the opening game. Games have too much to do, but there were any number of competitive points after the interval. Service over. Four, seven. Well, it's going to be challenged. Awesome. Challenges pulled out. By the Indonesians. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Eight, four, play. Oh, sure. That was certainly inside the line. <laughs> Service over. Yeah. Five, eight. That shot from our son, Mohammed Hassan, that eight. is awesome. First this one, but look at the second one. This is just so short. Perfect angle, really, really well played by Mohammed Hassan. Half bodies don't count in the sport. So back within Six, two. Eight. Play. for the Danes when they're starting to go into these flat exchanges. Seven, eight, yes. They just have to accept that Asan and Seti want just better in that particular area of the game and have to try to avoid it a bit. Nine, seven. 
so quick to seize on the opportunity. Well said. Service over, eight, nine. I actually think that Hassan is perhaps injured. I think he pulled something here. Oh, that, that is a worry. It is. That's such a shame. They've been much, much better than their opponents in the first game. And now starting to catch up after a little bit of a poor start. something in his calf muscle. How much a question doctor? And we're going to have the magic cool spray. Well, let's hope from everyone's point of view that he's okay to carry on because absolutely it would be a, a real shame not just for him okay. for the crowd that have come here so popular walking a little gingerly back out on court remind you when they won in 2019 it was not a son Eight, nine, injured but it was actually set you on injured injured similar thing but on one leg they still managed to win so they seven, are a seven, dangerous ten, pair to play, eight. even injured. So, a three-point advantage for the Danes as they go to the mid-game interval. Eleven eight play. Seven seven nine eleven. That looks short seven, again. Seven seven twelve nine. Um, I think a flick serve should come here. I guess what will happen is that the Indonesians wants to play, I would say, mixed doubles with uh, <laughs> Asan, Asan at the front. But he had a change over there. That's pretty good. That's good play by him. up that kind of opportunity. Service over, 10, 13. Well, as long as he's only got to use the arm then. It's endless opportunities. Beautiful 
touch at the net, was it, from Setia Wan? 11-13. Anas. 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 Wait. Anas, ask me to change the shuttle, please. Thank you. 11-13. Oh, that's an excellent shot there from Setio. <laughs> One of the most difficult shots in the men's doubles 13. category, and he just plays it with such ease. Thirteen all. Sometimes you just get the impression that Arsene and Setiawan are toying with you. That's ridiculous. That's for, looked like he was going swimming. Now you can see he can hardly walk. It's not going 14, to be any easier 30. tomorrow. Definitely not. It's going to potentially Play. seize up. Certainly, we will not want to play a third game here. Service over. 14 all. Challenges called in. Just about, just enough. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 15 14. Play. Service over. 15 all. Oh. They'll not be happy with that. No, his service not always that steady. It's good enough, but it's not always completely steady. And if you're Arsene, I think you're if you're Astor Paul Rasmussen, and you can see the issues 16, that 15. Arsene has, desperate to try and take this to a, to a third game, because he's so immobile. Sometimes it's actually more difficult to play injured players, believe it or not. Not to that well enough. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible how he's playing this one. Service over. 16 all. Sixteen. 
That was a bad serve from Rasmussen. They got away with it. Great defence, that really was amazing. And, and oh, that might have been wide. Another fantastic shot from Seth in the city line. and now they're favourites for this second game. That was a huge point. But just feel it. Okay. Quickly, please. Eighteen sixteen. Play. Yeah. So quickly into that, and the deficit down to just one. Service over. Seventeen eighteen. Try the flick serve, but uh, Rasmussen Seven. very alert. 19 18. Six foot two, and uh, an easy put away, and another massive point. How many times have we said that in the last few minutes? Can't take your eyes off it at the moment. Uh, they've caught uh, Rasmussen a few times in that deep seven, forehand seven. corner. And straight 19. away we see how oh. Setiawan is moving in. I think the Indonesians are happy. It's uh, Mohamed Hassan serving now. Good serve. Excellent serve. And punished. Kim. Beautiful shot. Off the excellent serve as they move to match point. 20, match point 19. Chance from Hendra Setiawan. He really took the chance. Service over. Hassan moving forward here. All. Hoped that he could win it. Challenged immediately by the Danes. I, mean, I guess they were going to do that if it was anywhere close, just because of the situation. Yeah, he's here. already played the shot, uh, shuffle to the other side. So chances are that it's actually in. Hawkeye will check. Hawkeye agrees. Yeah. Another match point. Challenge unsuccessful. No challenges remaining. Service over. 21-20. Play. I see the smash from Astrup. 
day. That'll do it. 22-20 in the second game. Remains to be seen how bad the uh, knock is to Arsene, but it is managed to survive OK as they take that second game. A lot of mutual respect out there. Uh, the Danes still can't get that elusive win against Arsene and Setiawan. They're just 39 minutes. They did have their chances, though, more, to be fair, today. Yeah, it was a very, very fine performance by the two Indonesians, I think, especially considering the circumstances here in the second game. Wow, they have played well. The, the start of the first game was just outstanding, and the Danes, of course, got quite well into it in the second game in the beginning. But uh, the Indonesian pair, they just showed so much class. That's the way of it then, 21-15, 22-20, 39 absorbing minutes and the Indonesians are through to tomorrow's semi-final. There's a bit of a limp going here, isn't <laughs> But uh, I'm sure he'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully they'll get some treatment. Such a popular pair. Well, let's just check then the results from the first session today. Quite stunning performance from Tai Zhu Ying. Seems a long time ago now. 35 minutes to get past uh, Nozomi Okahara. Brilliant. Matsuyama and Shida almost as good, you would say in thrashing Kim and Kong in straight games. Uh, Gideon and Sukumoljo, again, they've got the evil eye over Ranky Reddy and Shetty. Uh, and then the next match, that was the tight one. Uh, Zhang and Zhang coming from a game down to beat the tie pair, Kitty Herakul and Prajongjai. And as we've just seen, despite the injury to Arsene, the Indonesians threw against the Danes, Astrup and Rasmussen in straight games. Now that's just the first session, we've got a second session for you, it starts in around about two and a quarter hours, five o'clock local time in uh, Birmingham, and that's the programme, and well there's plenty for everyone, Kuva Renikro and Tara Tanachai in the mixed doubles, the world number one, the Olympic champion Victor Axelson in the men's singles, and there's that uh, mouth-watering men's singles match at the bottom there, Chow Tien Chen against uh, Jonathan Christie as well, that'll be with Jill Clark and Steen Pedersen, from 5pm local. For now though, from myself, Trevor Harris and Morton Frost and all our production crew here in Birmingham, it's goodbye.